a number of uh, conditions uh, um, which do predispose to a high risk of development of post-stroke epilepsy, especially the appearance of stroke, um, so the cortical lesions with subcortical parts on infarctions are more likely associated with the uh, development of post-stroke epilepsy. Also, big amount, also big uh, volumes of um, brain damage, and especially um, the infection in the uh, in the. Um, anterior circulation um, associated with the um, development of post-stroke epilepsy. Also, the severity of stroke measured by NIH stroke scale is also associated with a higher risk of development of post-stroke epilepsy. Hemorrhagic infarcts or ischemic infarcts which do undergo hemorrhagic transformations are more likely uh, to develop post-stroke epilepsy. And interestingly, that the younger patients are also more prone to develop post-stroke epilepsy. There are some topical predictors of epileptogenity um, after stroke. So uh, there are studies which have shown when anterior circulation is um, highly associated with the risk of post-stroke epilepsy if um, brain infarction occur, occur in this region. Also, middle temporal gyrus is associated, if the impairment happens in this region, is associated with high risk of post-stroke epilepsy, post-central gyrus, and uh, the infarction with the um, in the submarginal and superior temporal gyrus are also associated uh, with a high risk of development of post-stroke epilepsy. So it's like topogenic, uh, topic, topic predictors of um, possible post-stroke epilepsy.